running joke of the tandem community is whichever way your relationship is going, it'll get there faster on the tandem. I typically ride on the back of the tandem, and I am what they call a stoker. Peter rides on the front of the tandem, tandem and he is what they call the captain on the tandem. We've been riding the tandem for probably 30, close to 30 years. It is a lot of fun, but it is a challenge at times as well. You definitely have to work together. We've actually ridden across the country unsupported now three separate times. People would ask us a lot if we were afraid for our personal safety, literally. In 60,000 miles of touring, not once. It's always been the opposite. It's strangers stopping us, asking us if we need water, or inviting us to their house, or buying us dinner, or paying for our, our ferry fee. Can you imagine we're on the bike sometimes eight hours, eight to 10 hours a day. You get hungry, you get thirsty, you get grumpy. With our trips, I've learned to be more tolerant of things and to try to take a step back and try to understand where he's coming from being, because his challenges on the front of the bike are very different than my challenges on the back of the bike. The thing that I learned, and I learned some of it on the trip, but I really learned more of it when we wrote the book and had some perspective. We are a team, for better or worse, when part of the team is compromised, the other one can't just pick that up. We're going to be compromised as a team, and the trick is to figure out how together to be the strongest that we could be. 